Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Noah C. Today is Monday, May 16th, and we're here with your morning announcements. This week is Classified School Employees Week. Classified employees include staff such as bus drivers, cafeteria workers, and paraeducators. Be sure to take a moment to express your gratitude for them and all that they do. Congratulations to our very own men's tennis team for winning the CIF San Joaquin Division II Championship. Keep up the good work. Congratulations to everyone who earned an award last Friday at last Friday's VAPA Gala and to all the seniors who earned their VAPA pin. Hey Isabel, have you noticed how warm it's been getting the last couple days? I sure have. Now let's pass it on over to Sterling for the weather. Good morning, I'm Sterling and I'm here with your weather update. Hope you didn't miss the lunar eclipse last night from about 8.29 p.m. to to 5.40 or till ni to 9.45 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. A lunar eclipse is when the moon appears in darkness as it passes into the Earth's shadow, and this occurs about every two and a half years. But now, on to this week's weather forecast. Today, we can expect a high temperature of 83 degrees and a low of 52 with light winds going southwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Going into the rest of this week, get ready for summertime. Th this whole week expects sunny weather with highs in the 90s and lows around the 50s to 60s. With highs in the early in the week hovering around 75 degrees and later in the week uh, mostly around 90 degrees. And lo low temperatures mostly in the 50s. Well, that's all I have for you this year, humans. Have a wonderful rest of the year and a spectacular summer. See you see all next year. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Sterling. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, the Elk Grove Youth Commission is hosting a free event called Path to Positivity, which will take place Saturday, May 21st from 12 to 5 p.m. There will be guest speakers, representatives from citywide organizations and counselors. There will also be an inflatable obstacle, obstacle course, food trucks, special performances, music, games, and chances to win prizes. Take a picture of the screen for more information. Hey Wolfpack, do you want to join Spirit Crew for next school year? Stop by the Leadership Room for an application, which will be due Friday. Isabel, I'm curious to find out what NHS is all about, aren't you? I sure am, so let's hear about what NHS is all about. Hey sophomores, I'm Caitlin, next year's National Honor Society President. Hi, I'm Isaac and I'm next year's Public Relations Officer. And we're happy to announce that the NHS applications for the 2022 to 2023 school year have officially begun. National Honor Society is an organization where we commemorate students' scholarship, leadership, service, and character. NHS is a way to support your community while also being recognized for your achievements. We encourage all sophomores with a 3.5 GPA or higher to apply if you're looking for ways to either support your community or improve your extracurricular activities. Additional info will be on your Synergy email and applications are due on the 20th. If you have any additional questions, feel free to ask me or Caitlin or Ms. Chasen HN1. So join. Just a reminder that you can still pre-order this year's yearbook through the rest of this week for $90 online by Googling Jocelyn's Kazuna Soaks. There are also yearbooks that are left over from the last year and the year before. You can buy them in the student store. Last year's yearbook is $30 and the year before is $20. Attention student drivers, it's time to turn in your student parking permit. There will be an orange drop box in the attendance office, so be sure to turn them in as soon as possible. Man, I'm sure getting hungry. What about you, Isabel? Definitely. Now let's check out this week's episode of Cooking with the Pack. Hi, Wolfpack. Welcome back to Cooking with the Pack. Today we'll be making carnitas. Um, this is a very easy, simple dish to make. You basically use whatever you have. We have a very simple seasonings that you can use and a very simple technique that you can do. So right now I'm going to cube this piece of meat. And you can use any piece of meat, any um, tough meat, like usually pieces of steaks that you don't want. So once 
once your meat is ready, you're going to want a pan and set it to about a medium high heat with vegetable oil. So in this pan, I have all the meat that we've cooked. I have some broth. Um, you can use either beef, vegetable, or chicken, depending on what you're cooking. Or since we're using um, a red meat, I suggest you use And that's it for making your uh, homemade gavitas. Thank you for cooking with the pack. Man, that looks really good. So Isabel, um, not to be a downer, but do you know what today is? Yes, I do. It's our last time doing a Monday show together. I know, I'm so sad. So let's do this one last time together. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Noah Seed. And I'm Isabel Herman. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Farewell, Wolf Pack, from, from your, your Monday, Monday anchors. anchors.